greetings everyone i want us to learn in terms of how can we go about proving our theorem uh, our theorem nine which states that now uh what an angle at the what uh this is going to what this is going to be your tan court theorem right so we are going to be proving in terms of this particular angle here your your angle d bc is going to be called your deb right now how can we go about proving that we are going to obviously start by what construction and remember it is important that you name construction because you cannot prove without firstly having your construction right so which means you are going to construct firstly your diameter uh, or your radii right you are going to construct your radii what uh, your radii f o b f o b or rather one can say your f o and also your o b which means you are going to make this to be your straight line right make this to be your straight line that's going to be your first construction oh it's okay then you are also going to uh this you are then also going to join your what you are also going to join your e and also f or segment e f right you are also going to join segment e f out again to form this particular thing right and then now what is it that you're going to do uh from here for an example you are going to let this be what this is going to be b1 and b number two you can also let this to be uh, what this is uh this being angle what this being angle one and also this being our angle what being our angle number two how to get so basically that's what you are going to do right now how can we then start proving this right now we are going to start here uh isn't it that we know that uh, from your angle b1 if you can say let's say we look at angle b1 and also uh b2 angle b1 plus your angle b2 this is going to give you your 90 degrees why remember this is your radius right this fob it it is your diameter or this is your radii right so which means this is going to be your radius uh your radii perpendicular to what perpendicular to your tangent okay you can use this which is going to be your theorem uh this is your theorem number what this is your theorem uh number seven okay so yes you can use that as your reason and what is it that you can also take out from here now let's say now uh we want to prove remember we want to prove that your angle d uh your your angle d what your angle d p c which is your this particular angle d p c this b2 here is going to be cause your d e b it's going to be cause your d uh e b it's going to be cause to your what your e2 now how can we go about proving that right so which means now if let's say here we make b2 to be the subject of the formula b2 is going to be caused to what your angle b2 is going to be caused to your angle 90 degrees subtract your b1 all together now let's move now to the second one i want you to have an understanding that your angle e1 plus your angle e2 is going to be caused to 90 degrees remember your fob it makes this triangle f E B to be your angle in your semicircle, right? So this is going to be your angle in the semicircle, right? Angle in your semicircle, right? Semicycle or angle in your semicircle, it is going to make this to be 90 degrees, right? Because when you this is your uh diameter, then it forms a 90 degree here, which means it forms this to be your what your angle 90 degrees, your E1 plus your E2. How it again? your e1 plus your e2 to be your 90 degrees and now i want you to take a uh, note of this <clears throat> if let's say you make your what your angle e2 to be the subject of the formula your angle e2 is going to be same as 90 degrees subtract what subtract your e uh your e1 how to get that's going to be that right now i want you to take note of this can you see that this particular angle let me just make this can you see that your angle e1 can you see that your angle e1 
and also your angle B1, right? Can you see that all both of these angles are subtended by the same arc, right? Starting from here, drawing your line till here, right? And till here, right? And also starting from where? Starting from here up until here. Can you see that both of these angles are subtended by the same arc, all right? Which means, therefore, you are going to say, look, my angle E1 is going to be equal to my angle what? Is going to be equal to my angle B1, right? Uh, this is going to be angles subtended by what? By the same arc, right? Or the same segment, right? These are angles subtended by the what? Angles subtended by the same arc. So, which means if E1 and B1 are going to be equal. So, which means here, which means here you can replace this as B1. You can replace this as what? You can replace this as E1. You can also replace this as B1. Which means, therefore, you can conclude. You can conclude that if both of these angles are equal, your angle what? Your angle E2 then is going to be equal to what? Is going to be equal to your angle B2. Right, which means your angle D, uh, your angle D B, what D B C is then going to be equal to your angle D, uh, E what D E B. Altogether, these are the same angles, right? We are saying this angle here is going to be the same as this particular angle here, right? Altogether, then this is going to be uh the theorem that you are proving, which is going to be your tan chord theorem, right? This is going to be your turn code theory. Okay. So basically, this is how we go about improving this theorem 9 of ours, right? So these are some of the necessary things that you need to include when you are proving this particular theorem. Hopefully, this makes sense to you now. And thank you very much.